Hi, this is Newt with a minute of medicine for your mind. You know, I have two sisters. I don't talk about them much, but uh, they're very successful, strong, and, and, and accomplished black women. Very proud of them and love them very much. My older sister's a doctor. She has her own practice. And my middle sister's a business consultant and, and, and a project manager who has her own catering service and owns over 50 apartment buildings and a management company that manages those buildings so she can keep all the money. They're paid and doing what they need to do, and I'm very proud of them. You see, they made good choices and stuck by those choices and were able to achieve their goals despite the oppositions and challenges that came their way. But I didn't do the same. I didn't make such positive decisions in a, in a certain segment of my life. So I had to reap what came my way because of those decisions. But you know what my spoiled behind did? Got jealous of them because they were doing good because they did the right thing and I wasn't doing so good because I didn't do the right thing. But you know what? They knew that, but they kept it pushing anyway. Because what I thought or felt about their accomplishments wasn't their business. That was just how I thought or felt about it. It was their business and responsibility to respond to their need and their, their purpose and their goals that were set in front of them. So what am I saying to you today? Take a lesson from my sisters. It doesn't matter who it is that's not giving you the praise you need to get and, and saying great things about you. You keep it pushing anyway because that's what you need to do for yourself. You see, it's easy for people to praise someone who's coming from the gutter, you know, because that person coming from the gutter may not have reached the level of achievement that, that, that the person praising them has. But once that person coming from the gutter surpasses that other person, that praise and that celebration begins to get scarce. But that doesn't mean you stop or take a second guess because of what's ahead of you to do. You see, your accomplishments, they'll scream thank, to, thank you to you over and over again in the matter, in the means of dollars. See what I'm saying? This is new with a minute of medicine for your mind.